we have a very exciting trip this weekend. We're on our way to Matlock in Derbyshire and we're meeting another vlogger. YouTube channel's called TT uh, X. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> we all should put the link on there. It's Alex anyway. And uh, he's taking us caving tomorrow. We're staying at a site called Splash Farm. <laughs> Lovely little sights, so yeah. sweet. And I think there is five pictures. <laughs> You're right, actually. There are five pictures. That was a good guess. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So all set up, heading off for a walk now into Matlock Bath. Uh, At five thirty in the evening. So it's yep. gonna be dark when we get back, but we're in search of Giddy Edge. Uh, hopefully, we get to Giddy Edge before it gets dark. Otherwise, it could be. Uh, falling off edge. No, we're not doing that. Well. So Michelle's just depositing the money for the campsite. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that one, it's this one. It's good value as well, isn't it? A £15 pound night including electricity. electricity. Yeah, it's good. Now we need to get to this place, don't we? Before it does get dark. <laughs> yeah, it's about three miles, I think. So what's that? About 45 minutes. Gets dark in about an hour and a, an hour and a quarter. So Gosh. We're just about to do it. Though, I've it? got big torch though anyway. Nice to see a steam train. No, it wasn't. <laughs> As canals go, I think this one's particularly nice, don't you? It's lovely. Have you got some sort of joke? No, no jokes. Oh. <laughs> it, just, it is really lovely. Very lush, lots of trees and bushes. Very, very peaceful down here. Trees and bushes. Yeah, well, canals sometimes just for open fields, aren't they? So this is... Uh, trees and bushes. Trees and bushes, it's nice. Two point six miles, forty five minutes. That's not bad, is it? We have the heights of Abraham up there. Heading back now. Sadly not enough time to get up to Giddy Edge. So that'll have to wait for another day. Guess what? Oh my god, are you going again? Are you joking? It's another de dead end. If in lovers walk over there, lovers tiff on this side, <laughs> isn't it? It's not my fault. Oh my goodness. No, I'm not blaming you, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh look, we're back in Matlock. <laughs> we should be halfway home by now. We have bats. I don't like bats. I'm sure you can't pick them up on the no. camera. Ooh, oh, there oh goes my one. God, that came straight to the light. Just back from our walk now in the dark. <laughs> Michelle sorted herself out with uh, a small glass of wine. Uh, and I'm going to turn this into this spaghetti. Two eggs two garlics, I know it looks like three, but two of them are small. Parmesan, <laughs> a 
Uh, 40 grams of butter and some lardons. Gonna get the uh, spaghetti on the go as well. Butter melted in the pancetta. Smash it in with the back of a knife. Garlic's now had time to infuse the pancetta and the butter. So I'm going to lift this out. Just need to lift the spaghetti out into the butter and pancetta. Turned everything off at, at this stage. The parmesan and eggs in there. So these are raw eggs, but the heat of the spaghetti is going to cook them. And there we have it, spaghetti carbonara. Oh, it smells divine. I'm so excited and ready for this. <gasps> Cheers. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Well, here we are in Matlock with uh, Alex. Hello. And obviously Michelle. And we're just getting prepared to go down a cave. I, uh, I want to make sure I'm seen down there. So I've, uh, I'm sporting like a, an illuminous number. <laughs> and Alex is just preparing uh, my my helmet with a, a light. <laughs> You've always got to prepare your helmet. Yeah. Yes. Oh God. It's going to be one of those days, oh, I think. It's definitely going to be one of those days. I'm feeling like really glamorous. Raining. Lovely. I'm going to start it. You made that so easy. I think you two both made it look easy. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> and we're in. This is where the adventure begins. If you're in a mine, compressed air pipes usually lead to the entrance. You might have to shove my bum off here, Andy. <laughs> Like they, I'm going underground. My wife always asked me why I was always taking pictures of people's bottoms. My ass going to go in. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, uh, narrow? I've got my size 11s on if you get stuck. Okay. This is pretty stable, but it's generally not a good idea to climb on walls dead. No because they are just piled up waste rocks. Yeah, I can see that. Down there is the roadway. That's the way the uh, wall would have been taken out. We reckon someone's dropped some explosive in there at some point. Yeah, to do that. It's fairly heavy gauge. It's not, not going to get bent like that on its own. It's probably someone was shoveling stuff down this. I think that's ventilation. That's not an ore chute, but this might have been an ore chute. You see the compressor pipe goes yeah. up there. I reckon someone's been shoveling stuff and and seen some explosives not gone off and <gasps> dumped it down the ventilation pipe to try and contain it. Maybe. Oh my gosh. That's pure speculation. That goes off into some of the less stable parts of the maze. They're okay, they're not terrible or anything, but I don't think we'll go there today. No. <laughs> Have a new way of coming down. Ooh, the other thing is, is in these mines is radon. What's that? radioactive gas. Oh my good god, really? Well it's everywhere, it's not, you know, <laughs> you get background levels of it everywhere. I so say that was the last we ever saw of Andy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a tight squeeze. Hey! <laughs> this is so not going to be elegant. It's a girl! <laughs> oh. There we go. <laughs> well, that's how you do it. <laughs> oh 
I'm surprised you're sat underneath it, Michelle. It's an old wheelbarrow, I think, isn't it? Yeah. You have. <laughs> We're not where we think we are. <laughs> oh. Little bit further on. A bit further. That's an, a volcanic ash bed. Oh, <gasps> really? So, yeah, this area was volcanic. Wow. And uh, I think that line, that wavy line. Oh, so that's what that line is over there? Yeah. Well. I, I say, oh. I, I'm not a geologist, so take it with a pinch of salt, but I believe wow. that's the ash layer. So at some point, that's been the land surface and yeah. there's volcanic ash. Good tree. Oh my God, look, Alex is off down, he's gone. Look. <laughs> The story is that this, after it closes a show cave, was used by a motorcycle gang called the Trogs. It's said that Queen Victoria came down here. Classic example of a false floor in a mine. Ah. Although this is concrete. Oh my not god, wood. that's so deep down there. If you went down there, goodness knows where you'd end up. But yeah, that's often what you're walking on the top of. Oh my god. If you're walking on yeah. a down a level and you don't realise it's stoked off underneath. Doesn't that look spooky down there? To go further up there, you can. I don't recommend it. It just ends in a lot of very muddy sliminess. Okay, no, maybe not. This then. is this is really the end. Just wouldn't believe that that's the way out, would you? Just like literally there oh, is thought. the outside world. <laughs> We're back. He took us down and he got us out. He got so us out. We're, we're happy about that. Yeah, yeah. Double value. So this is Alex anyway, and uh, he's got his own YouTube channel. Uh, we're gonna put a link in below so you can go and check out his stuff. Really great channel. And he knows his stuff. He's very good, especially with his cave-in, he's superb. We had lots of facts, as you probably heard when you were down there. Yeah, all good. Really, really enjoyed it. Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs> Well, this is definitely deserved, isn't it? Yes. Have I you seen so. the portion control going on yeah. here? <laughs> Andy size. A little me size. I've got scampy though, so. I'm eyeing <laughs> yeah, your scampy yeah. up to be fair. <laughs> so Alex asked if he wants if we wanted him to drive us back, but we said we'd come the scenic route and walk, didn't we? We did, and it's lovely. <laughs> it's really pretty. Quite a lot of up and down. We are a bit tired, aren't we? We are a little bit tired. <laughs> so this is Coombs Wood. Quite a few 
different footpaths through and variations you can take but uh, they all seem good so a bit of an alternative to walking into Matlock along the canal path you have to stand on the metal uh, sorry the wooden metal? no the wooden stumps oh. <laughs> nearly and there we are oh. Bow Wood which you saw on our way out this morning oh. and we're back and also bonus they uh, they lend you a sky not a sky box a digi box, box to watch tv on So we've just been up to High Tor, which is up there. I'm not sure if you can make it out through the trees, but that, that's called Giddy Edge. Uh, had a nice walk along there. Uh, earlier today, we met up with Doolittle Campers and K9. Caravanners. Caravanners had a nice walk with them as well, along the canal yeah. towpath. Yeah. And Michelle's gonna put a photo in now.